Hey y'all, let's check out the night garden. Hey y'all, welcome to day 15 of April Diamonds. I'm Shy in Second Life. And today we are gonna be looking around the night garden. So let's go ahead and do an outfit check and then we can continue. So yeah, I really just wanted to go with something that was gonna be a little brighter than everything else that's here because it's kind of dark on this land. So I went with silver and gold accessories or platinum and gold accessories. Got my little bracelet and my watch. Y'all already know the purse of choice, but of course, one of my favorite purses. So let's go ahead and get a little shoe cam action. These are really cute heels, super cute. So yeah, let me come up and then I back up, get a full view. Yeah, so this is my outfit for today, you guys. So let's go ahead and continue. So this land is so beautiful and magical. I love how they have everything like super dark. The setting is dark, but all of the other elements are like bright neon colors. This feels so romantic. This place is TP friendly. Um, it's also a moderate Sam. So if you wanted to come with the kitties, um, they'll be able to look around and really just like enjoy all the beautiful sights and sounds. I came across this land and I didn't know whether or not I was gonna use the shared environment. I am not in the shared environment. The shared environment is much, much darker than um, the settings that I'm in right now. I still wanted the settings to be dark, but they were just way too dark. I just felt like it wasn't going to, it wasn't gonna look well in the video. So I changed it just a smidget. It's not too, too um, different, but it is a little bit lighter than, I oh, like these little tree things. It's a little lighter than the original color that they have here for the shared environment. If you're coming here, I would recommend you to just be in the shared environment um, because you're going to get the best um, quality because they made the shared environment so that everything would kind of pop more. Things are not popping with the color as much, but the colors are really, really nice. I love all the neon colors. I love that. That's what I um, wanted to show you guys, like how the the greenery they have like sound in it so you can it sounds like you're like walking through it that's really really cute so i like all of the little it's it it has a bit of whimsy to it it does um also enchanted it also does feel enchanted so they have cute little cuddle spaces for you to come and be able to relax this place does have a romantic vibe to it i don't know if it's the lighting um but it does feel um quite romantic in my opinion this is cute what is this sometimes i'll have stuff that you can click oh, okay so what is this where's this taking me oh nice okay so this is a different part that it teleported me to I do know that sometimes in Second Life they'll have little things like that because the spaces are meant to be um, like viewed as like a hidden space. So it's like, oh, had I not clicked on that, I wouldn't have known. They don't, it's not very planned, not planned out. It's not very like obvious that it's something that you can click on to teleport. So when I panned out, this did seem like it was quite a large land. So I'm not sure how much we'll actually be able to get through um if i don't think we'll be able to get through most i never try to get through all of the land i just kind of want to give you guys a nice little overview so that you will want to come and look for yourself so i do like that they have different elevations and although this land is large they have the different elevations which just adds to the space on the land it definitely is a lot a lot to do here they have all of these cute little boats and very pretty waterfalls everything is so bright and lit up and i really really love that 
So the land is not a complete circle. The path does not take you all the way around. So once you get to one end, you'll just have to turn around and go the other way just to make sure that you don't miss anything. And there are also sims just from the first little secret TP. I wouldn't be surprised if they have other like little secret TPs around here where you can click them and it'll teleport you to a different part on the land. Y'all look how pretty this is. This is so pretty. One thing Second Life are gonna, they're gonna do, they're, they're gonna make something pretty. This is so pretty. So yeah, I wanted to uh, come here before. I've had this landmark for a while. Sometimes I forget the landmarks that I have because I'll just go places. And if it's someplace that I want to show you guys, I'll just save it. And then what will end up happening is I'll end up saying another space that I wanted to take you guys to. And then I'll forget that I have a landmark to a space that I've already had a landmark to. So I did. I have had this landmark for quite a while. And when I was going through my landmarks, I was like, oh, wow, I never showed them this. So, yeah, we'll check that out in a minute. So they have little boats over here that you can get on. Um, They have like cute little poses and things like that. Is this something you could click on? Yeah. Be mindful. If you see things like lit up like this, try to click on it and see if it'll take you someplace because that one is another seat. What does this sign say? What does it say? Welcome to the night garden. So what do we have? Ooh, a cave. You know, I love a good cave. Second Life always has really, really nice caves. I have yet to come to a land and see a cave. And then once I explore the cave, it's not like an awesome cave the caves are very wonderful it's so colorful and so pretty i love it it's so pretty this would be a really nice um place to go for like a first date or just a date period or just a place to like take the kitties and things like that but it does seem like it they do have a lot of romantic things here Okay, so that was another teleporter. What is this? Oh, this is pretty. Okay. So then they have more little seating in here, like the little raft that you can sit on. So this feels like it has like a, I don't, I want to say like a cuddle park vibe in my opinion everything is like it's not really activities to do it's just a lot of nice things to see and then you can sit and just relax and listen to the nature sounds and things like that so it's not really um f well from what I'm saying it doesn't seem like it's an activity based land it seems like it's just more or less a walk around adventure around type land and then like chill and I like that everything doesn't have to be like super interactive I like that they made the space where you can just come and chill you can you can make it interactive yourself by walking around and doing different things but they don't have like it's not like games and things like that like the land that we went to um last they had like um, golf mini golf and things like that like this doesn't seem thus far this doesn't seem like it is one of those lands i've seen so many different variations of oh what's happening Hold up, I'm trying to get around to see. Oh, how pretty is that? I've seen so many different variations of enchanted and whimsical. And when I tell you, I am just taken aback every time, more and more through and through. They are all so different. They all really have a different flair to them. And I really like that. Everything is so colorful, like a rainbow. Just feels so cheery. Put you in like a nice, happy mood. So 
question what's up here what is this oh is it taking me out somewhere okay now this is really foresty i like how when they teleport you to different spaces you do get like a different experience in each space because this is very the feel of here is very different from um where we started at but i do like that they added some enchanting whimsy with the little um unicorn the little baby unicorn let's see if we can get in close very cute let's see if we can zoom in super cute y'all i try to stay on the path but if it's something that I see in the distance that I want to see, I, I'll come off the beaten path. I really will. Water, you know, I love, I love a good, love a good um, water stream. Super nice. This is pretty, very, very bright, and very pretty, very pretty. This space definitely feels enchanted. It definitely feels magical. This place has so many different paths and so many different twists and turns that you can take. So don't be surprised if you try to stay on the path and then you end up someplace else. I feel like this space really gives you the abil ability to just wander around. And even when you think you're lost or something like that, you'll come across some beautiful things like this. How pretty is this? It's a beautiful tree. This looks, feels like, like a little greenhouse. It's super nice in here. I love things like this. I love places like this in Second Life. I love secret tunnels, secret passageways. I love a good hidden space. Underwater worlds get me every single time, every single time. So I wanna kinda see how to get back to the main part because I do want to, um, oh, this is pretty. I do want to see um, where that path that goes in the water leads me. I'm, I'm going to feel real crazy if it just walks me over to that boat. This is cute. I definitely feel like more than two people could sit over here. Maybe. It definitely looks like more than two people could sit over here. But it's very pretty. So they have the little secret little spaces. I love that. I love when lands keep you guessing. Where every time you think you know what's going on you'll be like nah i really didn't i wasn't expecting that this is pretty this is very pretty i love it i love all the sparkles oh i love this this is nice they really took their time with this space they really did so this place is huge it's huge when I panned out it was a lot going on definitely more than one Sam maybe three two or three I'm thinking but this place is huge lots to see Y'all, I am really lost. I do not know how to get back to the space that we were in so that I could teleport back to where we were. I could use the landmark, but I kind of wanted to use the teleport that we used to get over here, but then I don't even remember where that was. Every time I think I'm going the right way, I'm not. I'm not, because I end up in a different space. That's why I know I'm not going the right way. Cute little hidden boat space that you can come and just cuddle. Very nice. Y'all, so today officially marks the halfway through mark for April Diamonds, you guys. I've really been enjoying bringing all of these different videos to you guys for 
these 15 days going all the way up to 30 days i love the community that we are building i just really really do i love everyone that's you know constantly supporting me and i just thank you guys supporting the channel and just showing up and enjoying the content that i'm bringing because i definitely enjoy bringing it to you guys every time i be like nope i'm gonna take the tp i come across something else so i'm like oh wait let me look at this I'm like oh let me see let me see can i click on this it looked it looked like something you could click on but that's okay we'll just i wanted to see this then after this i promise we're going to take the tp so we can get back to where we were because i do want to see it's so pretty okay 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 let's go back to the main part okay so we are back at the main part and i wanted to see what was down here but wait what's this up here they got all kind of stuff over here they have little upper spaces like this we went to one upper space but they have other ones okay i, I ain't gonna show too much because i want y'all to come and see oh okay all right I was hoping this is what this was. I said, I, they better not have like a, a, a little fake thing trying to make me feel like it's an underwater world and it just stops at some point. I've gone to places like that where you think they're gonna have an underwater world and they're like, nah, we just wanted to make it look like that, but that's not what this was. Look how pretty. Y'all know I love a good underwater world. I love it. Now, I'm going to keep it a thousand. The Beach Fun video, their underwater world was literally one of the best underwater worlds that I have seen in Second Life. Um, I want to say period. I want to say period. Thus far. We'll say, we'll say thus far. Very, very nice. This is nice. This one is very nice as well. They really take their time with the underwater worlds and I really appreciate that. I feel like more has to go into the underwater worlds because it has to really feel like you're underwater. So I feel like you have to add so much more to make it be realistic. And they did. I was trying to see if it was a sitting area over there. Up in here. What's, what's this? all little treasure chest something you would definitely find underwater in some places this is so beautiful so colorful i really really like this can i click this no anything i see lit up i'm like oh let me see if i can click it maybe maybe not it's so pretty in here this seems like this is the length of the land. So I took another teleporter. You guys are gonna have to figure out which teleporter I took to get to this space. The little secret teleporters. This is so pretty. Look how pretty this is. I love it. This has definitely has like a greenhouse type vibe to it. I know the views are gonna be amazing. They have a little telescope for you to look out, just to see things more. Look how pretty this is. Oh, this is a little space I was wanting to go to. Okay, cool. Very pretty. I love how they'll have a lot of plants, but it still feels very open and airy more little cuddle spaces to sit at you get a nice view of the waterfall each um space looks like you get like a really nice view of something different you have like a couple's dance ball this is beautiful all of the little what are these called i forgot what these are called i want to say lanterns but they're not they're like light something i forgot what they're called but all of those, very beautiful. I love how the flowers just spontaneously just start to bloom up. 
They're like little firefly plants. How beautiful. This is really nice. I love stuff like this. And then we're in April. Very nice. Oh, I love that, like stained glass. So you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close it out here. The landmark to this place will be in the description box below. So really hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoy bringing it to you all. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.